Alright, so we're done with the different street profiles in one project. Let's proceed now to the documentation. So how are you going to prepare your PDF report for road lighting design? So let's go and continue this one. So first, this is our um, road one. So we can label this one as street one, street two. This is the street five, which we can maybe drag on the... the uh, can we drag it here? Ooh, cannot. Okay, we cannot drag it there. So we have street one, two, three, and then five. Or let's label this one as street number four. Okay, so the first one, of course, we need to achieve the lux value for this one. So we're just going to uh, get some fittings and then just place it there. And maybe on the other side. Yes, that is fine. So make uh, the minimum spacing as let's just make let's let's uncheck the optimized button and let's make this as 20 and the height of the fitting or the pole is eight meters. That is fine. So let's go and see the result. All right. So maybe we can make this one as 30, 30 meters spacing. Perfect. This is all, all OK. So let's just disregard the sidewalk for now because uh, the client says sidewalk is not important right now so yeah we can disregard this one but actually we still achieve the last value it's just it's too much okay so you can turn off this one or you can just show it to your client it it depends on you because if the client says why it's x or red mark you can just say because our uh, light value on the sidewalk is uh, too much for the requirement or maybe you can add you can make the sidewalk as higher calculation uh, higher requirements like instead of p4 let's make it p1 mm, or p2 yeah so it, if we make it p2 then it becomes check so we're good all right, so the next one, of course, this is our uh, roadway with the uh, two lanes in the median. So what we're going to do, again, add the luminaire. We're just going to select the fitting randomly. And then we will put our fittings on the middle. So it will be in the median. And we'll make the luminaires as two pieces. And you can see it, you, you can see immediately the result here that we achieved the last value already. And, but it's too much, so we will uncheck the optimized button here and we'll make this one as 30 meters. There you go. Still good. And for example, we'll increase the height of the fitting into, or let's just make it 35 first. Still good. How about 40? Ah, oh, this is perfect. How about 45? Mm, no so let's just make it 40 meters spacing wow for this uh roadway so the spacing of the luminaire is 40 meters wow this is very efficient and here on the other one so this is roadway number uh four so let's go and add this time it has a median plus a parking or laybys on the side so we're just going to drag and drop also and we will just copy the one we just created a while ago. So let's put the luminar on the middle, make it two pieces, and then make this one as 45 meters. Uncheck the optimize and 45 meters. Oh, shoot, 40 meters. There you go. So how about the parking? Does the parking says okay? Okay, did not mention the parking lay requirements here. So we're good to go. All right, and the last one is the, the roadway that has only one lane. So the internal road. Just drag and drop. Offset the luminaire somewhere there. Make the fittings as maybe 6 meters height only. I think our fitting is too, uh, uh, too bright or too... The water is just too, too high for this one, but let's just use this one and say the spacing is 25 meters. And see, we're still getting a better overall uniformity and lux value here. So how about we'll make it also 40 meters spacing? No, it's not good. 
Okay, so let's just make it 30 meters maybe. Yeah, so this, this luminaire is too bright or too high wattage for this type of the road. So we can either go and select for a lower lumen output because this one I think is, yeah, let's check the data sheet. So this is 55 watt. Wow, so it's 55 watt. Maybe we can go for 30 watt for this type of the road. Okay, so let's just imagine that we uh, change this one as 35 uh, watt luminaire and we check everything. So let's go now to the documentation. So just go and press the documentation tab. Okay, and yeah, you will have an automatic or a default cover here from your design. And you can see how there, uh, and you can see there are lots of uh, information here that you may want to send or give to your client, but sometimes you don't need to give it all um, really. So you can edit this one, just press edit button here. You may uncheck the preliminary remarks, the description and some images. You can keep the luminar list and the product data sheet, or you can also uncheck that one if it's not necessary to show the data sheet. And site, no need. Um, for the description for every street light, you can add a description or not, but if you don't have any other information, just uncheck this. Also the images and just keep this one, the summary. And uh, yeah, this is very important keep the summary and also if you want to uh, include the sidewalk yes you can do that and also of course the roadway information so make sure all all are checked because the client will ask you why one are uh, x and some are checked so you make sure that everything is checked because it means you achieve all the lighting design requirements so for uh, roads or street number two yeah uncheck those description and images again and for the roadway, because uh, the roadway is both sides is the same, so you can maybe uncheck the other one, or if you want, yeah, you can keep it all together. And then again, a street tool, uncheck the description and images. And then for the summary, and also for the roadway. Yeah, this one, like what I mentioned, we can adjust this one because our uh, wattage is too high. And then for the street number four, yes, remove those description images again. And don't forget to uncheck the glossary. The client doesn't need to read this glossary. And then press this edit button now. And then press this show entire documentation. So once you are confident that all your design are correct, then you can now press those uh, show entire documentation. So now it's loading, generating all the pages in one document. Okay, so it is done now. So you can go and scroll down and check all those uh, pages. If you need to remove something, then go and remove it. Just go press the edit and uncheck the pages that you want to remove. And if you think that everything is okay now, just press this save as and then PDF. And then please change this image quality into 80% because if you make it 100%, sometimes the PDF file becomes so high. So I'll keep myself as 80%. You can also do that if you like. And then press OK and then save your file as road lighting project and then save to your docu uh, folder. There you go. So this is now your uh, PDF report for this road lighting project. So we have uh, three, uh, four different roads or street that we run a calculation for this one because we aim to have a calculation for uh, this complex road geometry. And there you go. So that's how easy it is, okay? But if you think that you, you want to change the logo and you want to add the footer here and maybe you want to change the image here, you can also do that. So how are you going to do that is just go to this one page, say for example, the cover page, and then press the image. And then you may select the image that you want to use here. So Dialux Evo will give you some suggestions. 
and how to change the logo is very easy just go to the configure image and then select the logo here and say for example i will use my own logo and there you go i'll just click it and open and if i want to add the footer i will just place www.enrocolightingdesign.com and then i'll go back to this back to page preview and now my logo is there and also my footer will be on my website will be part of the footer now you can see here and then again show entire documentation press this one and then save as pdf all right so our next topic is export to excel so yeah see you again on the next lecture